You can see, no, beautifully it runs. See the motor. Uh, actually, 3.9 volt. Because three cells have been connected. 1.3 into 3, 3.9. It is this. This model is chargeable, rechargeable, as well as reusable. You can see. In front of you, you can see. I will show you. In front of you, you can see that the electrodes are there. Only half filled electrolytes. No corrosion in your uh, electro. I mean, what you call aluminium. I can show you and we'll take it and show you. Able to see? No corrosion. No corrosion. This is the this is the beauty of this model. This is called aluminium ion battery. See, no corrosion in any any battery cells. You can keep this. Even it is rechargeable and reusable. Not like aluminium air batteries, where the alkali, you know, it burns your aluminium. This is this also very of you. These are all the required uh, items like outer container, plastic, slotted inner container, aluminium electrodes. This will be the carbon black powders mix ratio given. Carbon rods. Then what is the electrolyte mixture are given? This we able to see. Other things. Okay, friends. The arrangements to be made now before assembling the aluminium ion battery. Those tubs are the three, the small tub which I have with slotted windows, no, and outer I have just uh, wind up with a nylon filter bag, because when I am going to fill this the sides with carbon, this should not enter the in inside tub. That is why as a filter and barrier, no, we have done this. So for all the three, are same I have done. The extra things I will fold it, and while inserting, no carbon black will be in the tub. As you can even see in my previous video. With regard to reusable aluminium ion water, I mean aluminium air batteries, same thing. Then for a positive thing, I taken the carbon rods because I don't have carbon plates. So I what I have, I am using it. All same principle is the same. Okay. See, finally I have now stuck to this container with carbon black, graphite, and manganese oxide. Those ratios I have written in the paper. So I stuff it carefully with the electrodes on equal distance. This will be the positive electrodes. I will join in one, three in one. I will join. See this in central container. There, there I will be uh, adding the electrolyte and zinc electrode. I mean aluminium electrode will be the negative. That we will see later on. See similarly, I have made other two. I stuffed it just for convenience, neatness. No, I have closed the uh, upper thing. Because carbon black, once you in contact with the hands, no, it become black. So I have made a lid with the foam, flexo, no, the rubber foam is there, no, the thermo, terra foams. So I close it carefully. Now it looks as a uniform. So three cells I have made it ready. Next step will be to uh, make ready these aluminium electrodes. Then those connections. Then lastly, the electrolyte will be, will be pouring it and see the current. Okay, so actually I have now assembled all the three cells. The positive things I have filled with carbon. Those I have filled it. Then I am just connected with the wire. Similarly for this also I have made it. Third one also made it. Now this will be our negative electrodes. These are all aluminium electrodes. Just sheet. And with the wire. Just for our design we are done. So I am going to dip like this. Each place I will be dipping like this. Each place I will be dipping like this. So in the last, this will be the our output. So I am going to connect in series all these three. I am going to connect all these three in series. So this I will take it as the last negative. The first positive will be taken as the positive there. This negative I am going to connect with this positive. This negative I am going to connect with this positive. After connecting. I will show you, then finally we will add electrolyte, what is electrolyte, I will show you what is the mixture I am going to add, it will be zinc chloride, then uh, zinc sulphate little, aluminum chloride, small amount of magnesium sulphate, I will add it and I will show you. So I have joined all the three cells, cell 1, cell 2, cell 3 in series, you can see the negative I have 
I have negative, I join to the positive, the negative to the positive here. So one terminal is finally negative and one terminal is positive. So three cells. Now we can pour the electrolyte and see what the voltage and current it generates. This will be a rechargeable and also reusable aluminum ion batteries. Okay, many people ask whether these aluminum air batteries are rechargeable. When you use alkali, definitely it is not rechargeable. It will just heat up the aluminum and convert to aluminum oxide and hydroxides. So they are not uh, rechargeable. Whether this is rechargeable as well as reusable. It uh, generates very, very less amount of hydrogen. No hydrogen will be there. You can prolong this. I have seen practically it, it can undergo a lot of rechargeable cycles. We will see practically. Okay. Now, the only last is I have to add the electrolyte. What is the electrolyte? Major amount of zinc chloride with uh, two part of zinc chloride, one part of zinc sulphate and 0.5 parts of aluminum chloride. Then traces of manganese sulphate I will be going adding. This is called the electrolyte. I will try it all in front of you I am going to do this. I will try to add and see what is the current generator because I have see I have attached the immediately you know I have attached the voltmeter what will is the current it will going to generate we will see it in front of you I am doing it. I am going to add step by step will added so that let that it has to first get saturated we have to give some time for saturation. Can you able to see the volt getting increase slowly because it has to pass through no both the electrodes it has to pass through both electrodes it takes little time. One thing this is no this is a rechargeable battery aluminum ion battery this is with ionic electrolytes major is zinc chloride though I can add aluminum chloride I am adding this time zinc chloride small amount of aluminum chloride zinc sulphate I am adding we will see what is the voltage is going to develop as to my 1.3 into 3 means 3.9 it should come so let it get saturated this is even chargeable if we wait we can see it get charged we will wait so able to see it slowly getting increased I will stop this 3.9 as we want it has attained that volt now we will see what is the ampere it has attained current 10 amps and we will find out we will find out what is the ampere in front of you I will show you around 500 milliamperes okay friends so in front of you I am showing you around 4 and 450 to 500 milliamperes it is giving in when connected in series the voltage is 3.9 volt ampere around 450 milliamperes is uh, actually 3.9 volt because 3 cells have been connected 1.3 into 3 3.9 only is chargeable rechargeable as well as reusable you can see in front of you you can see I will show you in front of you you can see that the electrodes are there only half filled electrolytes no corrosion in your uh, electro I mean what you call aluminium I can show and will take it and show you able to see no corrosion no corrosion this is the this is the beauty of this model this is called aluminum ion battery see no corrosion in any, any battery cells you can keep this even it is rechargeable and reusable not like aluminum air batteries where the alkali know it burns your aluminum this is this is also very economic you can charge it in reusable long shelf life it is Okay friends, if you like it, kindly click the like button, you can comment, kindly subscribe my channel, this is my video 71, kindly subscribe and make me do still more better batteries for you, thank you friends, thank you.